Following last week's dominant win, do you think uh, your team is firing on, on all cylinders now? Uh, we were certainly firing on all cylinders at the start of last week. Uh, in that, that sort of first 50 minutes, it got got a little bit messy, which sort of gave the, the boys an opportunity to keep themselves a little bit grounded and, and give themselves uh, some real focus areas for the week ahead. Uh, there was a couple of areas of our game that weren't weren't up to scratch in that that last 30 minutes, particularly the way we defended on on kicks and our ability to shut down the second kick or the scrappy play after a kick uh, hit the ground. So we've, we've put some focus into that this week and, and we're looking forward to uh, you know k- defending kicks better because uh, I felt like our line our line was very good and we tackled quite well on the weekend. Well, uh, Oldham have won three games out of three. They've got momentum coming into this game. What do you think of the threat that they pose on Sunday? Yeah, every team's threatening. And as I said uh, earlier, that... Every team loves playing Bradford, uh, at Bradford. You know, it's a great, great occasion. It's a historic ground, and and you know, teams find another, another bit of energy. You know, an extra bit of confidence, and they they come trying to make a statement against a big club. So, we're expecting them to to come and give us everything they got, and we'll be giving them everything we've got, and, and looking forward to a good hard battle. You're going back on Ethan Ryan. How impressed have you been with his uh, recent performances? Ethan's performed well. Uh, he's sort of been in and out of the team a little bit, but he's put his best uh, best foot forward when he's he's been selected, and he he's earned himself uh, an opportunity for the next few years and and another opportunity this weekend to uh, to play in front of his home crowd. Do you think that his emergence shows how strong the academy is here at the club? Yeah, the you know John Bastian and, and Lee Beattie and Matt Diskin and, and Chev and all those guys involved with the the whole 16s and 19s process are, are doing a great job. There's there's more to come. Um, there's a there's a lot of great kids and good people uh, and and just you know a lot of kids that love the club and really want to play for the jersey. So that's a that's a real positive and, and Ethan's one of those and we're looking forward to his progression in the next few years. How often do you get involved with the youth teams and the youth players? Uh, every day. I, I see the 16s and 19s when they're in here. I, I'm sure to be around and, and start forming a relationship with those guys so they feel comfortable with me. I feel like I'm the, the head coach of the club, not just the coach of the first team. So it's my responsibility to, to make those kids comfortable in their environment. Dangerous, I'm having a great start to his uh, Bradford Ball career. Do you think that his signing gave the whole team a sort of a boost and a lift? Uh, potentially so, yeah. Dane's a, a confident character and he came in last week excited about playing uh, playing first team football again and, and uh, playing in front of a great crowd and and he, he just said how comfortable he felt during the week um, in the environment so he you know happy players at training tend to lead to uh, good performances his signing clearly shows your ambition you want to be up there in the top four yeah we're always at, looking to add uh, quality players and, and Dane's been in NRL systems for a long time but uh, hasn't quite uh, established himself as a, as a fixture there so he's looking to find a home and find a, a system that believes in him and gives him the opportunity to, to grow.